sometimes on the island the power goes out today is one of those days so we're trying to improvise a little bit on what we're gonna eat and decided that we are going to try this jackfruit <laughs> And the jackfruit is pretty awesome. It's like 40 pounds and we have like 10 or 15 jackfruit on the tree right now. We just read about it and found out that jackfruit is related to breadfruit and dorian and things like that. And this tree alone can produce something like 3,000 pounds of fruit in a year. So here's our first attempt at having jackfruit from Samoa. This is our <laughs> version of jackfruit. And you can see how it's kind of spiky. You can kind of see how it's a bit spongy. It's been sp sitting on our counter maybe one week, I think. When we first cut it, you can see all of that stuff came yeah. out, except it was white. And it just kept coming and coming and coming out. It just, it was gross. Uh, <laughs> and it's very pungent. Very strong smell, yeah. Noli bears! No, you try and hold it. It's bigger than Noli is. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm bigger than Noli. Right, Emma, you try and hold it. Whoa, you're so strong! Whoa, no. Good job, Ammo! Why is it so pokey? Oh, it nice feels a little job. squishy. Whoa, Dad, look at my hand. <laughs> Who's gonna take this? Okay. This is our first time cutting a jackfruit, but what we've heard about it is a really sticky latex, and so they said either don't use your best knife or lube it up with some coconut oil before you cut into it to help prevent the latex from sticking to it. And we laid down aluminum foil on our work surface, and we have some gloves, because uh, it's really sticky. <laughs> So these are the seeds that come in there. You can see that it's super, super sticky, that all this white stuff is so gross. It's just really sticky, you can see how. You shouldn't have touched it. I shouldn't have touched it. Supposedly these are pods that you're supposed to eat. Tastes like bubble gum, Dad. <laughs> it does taste like bubble gum. It's the strangest thing ever. You wanna try it? It tastes like bubble gum. Eat it. Chew it. Thank you. <laughs> it tastes yep. like bubble gum. It looks like cheese. <laughs> it smells like rotten fruit cheese. Fruit cheese. What do you think, Emma? Tastes like bubble gum, huh? It tastes like gum, Emma. Emma, does it taste like gum? Go. I'll start with her. It does? You like it? Yeah? Oops, sorry. <laughs> you eat that like a bird. <laughs> wow. It's weird, huh? What does Even it has taste the same like? texture as like chewed bubble gum. It's <laughs> yeah. weird. What about that? Tastes like banana, mango. It kind of tastes like banana. Whatever. Yeah, it's like banana, wow. mango, pineapple, bubblegum mix. The seeds just kind of slide out, and then you just gotta kind of pull, pull the fruit. I'm surprised that more Polynesians nice haven't told us about this. It really does taste like bubblegum. Smell awesome. Oh, you got some more? Oops, oh, sorry. I don't want any. <laughs> Is it good? Angela's not a fan. It even like stretches like, like bubble gum it, on your, yeah, even on your like, tongue. It's like your tongue is like your hands and it stretches a lot. It doesn't taste like bubble gum, but it feels like bubble gum in your mouth. Yeah. I don't like it. It's more like mango or, and banana. Or, yeah, it's more like mango and banana. So it's not anything like um, any previous videos we've seen. All the other previous videos we've seen, they all had like um, 
like full pods, like little pockets that were maybe about the size of like a, a four-year-old's fist or something like that. And it all stayed together, but this is really like melted bubble gum or something like that. But it does not taste as good as cotton candy or bubble gum, I promise. It's like marshmallows when you make Rice Krispies. Yeah. Mama, it looks like squishy um, marshmallow. It does look like squishy marshmallow. So it's a lot of work since we have this big tree that produces 3,000 pounds of this a year. Will you eat it again, Joe? Yeah, I think so. It is a little hard to like wrap your mind around it because it's just so different from any fruit that I've ever had. Maybe we can make some sort of recipe out of it or something, hopefully. There's no end, it seems like, to how much fruit is in here. It also doesn't seem to stick to itself, which is kind of nice. Like the stuff just slides right off of the stickiness. I think this would be amazing in smoothies. So you gonna buy me that Vitamix? I knew you set me up for that. <laughs> it's actually relatively easy to harvest the fruit. You know, take away the sticky factor. But I have gloves on anyway, and it's actually not too bad. I'm not even halfway through, and look how much fruit there is. It's like scrambled eggs from here. It is so sticky though. That's crazy. That looks like the way to do it. Yep. <laughs> should I get up? Should I get up and run? Stop that right before it had begun. I was the morning dark, and you were the home chasing me through the air. <laughs> What we've come across now is the remains of the jackfruit of Australia. You hardly ever see this in the wildlife of Australia. <laughs> My terrible impression of Steve Irwin. I love you, Steve Irwin, and I'm excited to see you in heaven someday. Try this, Alicia. <laughs> I feel like I should blow a bubble. I know. Me too. <laughs> It was kind of a big piece for your first piece, sorry. <laughs> yeah, really? Temptating. Uh, I gotta swallow fast, I was like gonna choke on it. Yeah, I think this would be really nice in smoothies. I don't know how much of it I could just sit and eat like this. We've heard that the not ripe jackfruit you can use as a vegetarian meat substitute. It is really like I'm chewing bubble gum right now. Polynesian bubble gum. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, get all sticky with us, leave us a comment below, and subscribe. Fazuhuah!